Hey everyone, I am excited to fix this um, vegetable beef soup that was leftovers from my pot roast I made the other night. And I had talked about that in the video. I'll be putting that out pretty soon. But um, this is the leftovers and this is how I make my homemade beef veggie soup, okay? So get your hands, get ready to get your hands dirty because they can get messy. So first of all, I'm gonna add some extra veggies. So just get any type of frozen vegetables that you need. And I put these at the bottom because they're, they're frozen. And I'll give some extra vegetables beside the ones that I made in my beef soup. So I already started chopping up some of my meat. I had a lot of good meat left over. And like I said, sometimes I have to snatch out a piece to save for my soup because everybody tries to eat it up, but that's okay. So this is what was left over, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Especially our granddaughter. She'll go back for seconds oh, yes. and thirds. So like I said, be ready to get your hands dirty because you want to peel off any of the fat around it as best you can and just kind of break it up like this. You know, like I said, this is easy. It's just a little time consuming, not too bad. Um, so we break up some of this meat, the good meat. Get rid of the fat in my garbage bag, of course. All right, so I'm going ahead and dump some of this, and I might tear it up a little bit better. Now we're going to start some of my little potatoes here, and I'm going to do some more of those. So we're going ahead and just dump this good meat in here. All right, so we'll go pick out some of the veggies. These are my celery <laughs> that I put in there. And like I said, if you don't want to get your fingers clean, dirty, just you can use a spoon. Dip some of it out, just put it on your cutter board. I may just do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that works too. So, so yeah, just kind of chop them up to bite sizes that you want. These are the potatoes we made. This makes a great vegetable soup, and this is vegetable beef. And if you don't like roast beef, you don't have roast beef, you can use hamburger, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I know people who like hamburger in their vegetable beef soup. And that is just fine too as well. And gratefully, it already has a lot of seasoning in it because we already pre-seasoned our um, pot roast, didn't we? Uh -huh. So, and this is what makes it really good. All these good veggies. No waste. Everybody get in there. <laughs> oh, another piece of meat. Hey. Ah, don't want that. That's a little fat there. Okay. So just, like I said, kind of check out the fat. Make sure no fat's getting in there. Love the carrots. I think our granddaughter ate just oh, meat and carrots. She didn't want she the potatoes, ate a lot did of she? Carrots. <laughs> she, she just ate. wanted the carrots and the meat. <laughs> the meat. She got cleaned the cell on carrots. I'm like, please save yeah. me some. Luckily, I had some frozen veggies in there to help pick it up a little bit for us. You know, it's it's good that, you know, we can make two really good meals out of yeah, this. Yeah, it's cost effective. Yes, it is. It's very cost effective and it feeds a lot of people. So most likely tonight, um, I think Rosalie will be heading over for sister tonight, her husband, and I have a feeling somebody's gonna be coming in for some bowl of soup tonight, most likely. All right, this is the last of it. Oh, we've got some good onions in there too. We yeah, gotta do yeah, that. Onions, we gotta yeah. get the onions in there and that celery, all that good stuff in there. All right, I think that looks good. All right, cut some of those onions a little bit. Okay. All right, so there you that. This is not hard at all. Like I said, just a matter of prep. <laughs> now, okay, there you go. That looks good. All right, I'm just gonna sit this down the sink for a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is we saved some of the broth from the soup. So we put some in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna skim off some of this fat from it. That way there's less fat in our soup. And then we're gonna dump this in, which will give it some really, really good rich flavors. All right, so let's dump this in. Ready? There you go. There you go. Dum, dum, dum. All right, 
So that's another foundation. All right, last but not least. <laughs> okay, it's the V8. <laughs> um, juice, whatever type you want to use, you know. Tomato juice. Tomato whatever. juice, yeah. V8, whatever you have. Crushed tomatoes, whatever you like. And sometimes I put uh, other things in here, uh, like some black beans. I may add a can of black beans in it, mm -hmm. kidney beans. You can add some macaroni noodles in it if you like. Whatever you like, whatever your family enjoys, just do it. Um, put it in there, whatever they like, whatever veggies they like. I saw a carrot that did not get trimmed down. Came to the top, so we'll just take care of that real fast. There we go. Everything else looks pretty good. Mm. Yeah, so, um, all right. So we will put this in the crock pot probably for about high on for about four hours. So the veggies that are frozen cooked through, I probably will add me a can of kidney beans in here. So when we come back um, after this is cooked, we'll probably add some of that and then I'll show you how that works out. Um, this is great for a cold, dark day. Um, I am a therapist as I've told you in other videos. And right now I'm hearing a lot of people complain about it's called sad seasonal affect disorder. And some of you may understand that. Some of you may go, yep, that's what I got. That's what's going on, you know, because when it's darkness and cold, not a lot of sunlight, especially in the winter, we kind of suffer with a little bit of depression. So um, I tell people to get a light, a real bright light, so you can order them. Um, but, you know, sell in that light for 20, 30 minutes. Um, do whatever you can get outside in the sunshine as much as you can when it does <laughs> come out. But we had a little bit yesterday, which was great to feel that sunshine. Um, fix wonderful meals that make you feel happy inside. Um, like I said, this cooking show is kind of channels for my children, grandchildren, feeding the heart and spirit and tummy. Um, so, you know, we've got to remember that John 14 tells us that Jesus is the light. He's the life, the truth, and life. He is our light. Um, in the midst of the darkness. And so that's to feed your spirit a little bit. This is to feed your tummy. And we'll show this here in a little bit after it's done. Thanks. Hey everyone, I'm back. Our crock pot uh, veggie beef soup has been cooking a good four hours on high. Uh, let's take a peek at it. And I'd say it's looking pretty good. We. My professional taste tester took a bite of it earlier just to make sure it was flavored enough. So as you can probably see as I'm stirring this, I added in the kidney beans. I added some the light kidneys and dark kidney. And then I added my can of black bean. Of course, I drained about all three cans just to give it a little bit more oomph, if you will, <laughs> and some more veggies in there. It looks really good. It's really good. Yeah. And the beef looks really good. And I added, of course, yeah. my salt and pepper. Um, just season it to your taste. If you want to add, add onion powder, garlic, whatever you guys like, please feel free to do whatever you like. So I'm going to dip out a nice bow for my husband. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, it is very good. <laughs> so <laughs> approved by yep. you. I give you five stars out of five. A five star review. That's not a bad review, folks. There you go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's drain some of that juice off. There you go. Get some of that good chunky meat, honey. Mm. That looks really good and hearty and warm for the cold day today. So this is what's cooking, what's been cooking, <laughs> <laughs> and that is cooking. So I may steal a little bite of this myself here in a second. So you guys have a great day and enjoy this recipe. And I always hit like and subscribe. I'm going to enjoy. Later. <laughs>